Saturday Senate vote was close. The result was challenged, and when it was recounted, someone noticed more than 1,300 votes had gone missing. So it went to the courts, and today they decided the whole thing was invalid. Basically, they said because there were missing ballots, they couldn't be certain as to the outcome. The outcome was therefore likely to be affected, and in the circumstances, it was therefore just that there be a new election held and the election declared void. Now we've just got to wait until Thursday when the judges will return to tell us what they're going to do about it. That means six Upper House Senate seats that are due to change over at the start of July are still up in the air. And every single law the government plans to pass, including repealing the carbon and mining tax, is riding on however this plays out. So if the original poll was no good, is the only option left for the WA to do it all over again. Scott Loughlin is a WA senator who lost his seat in the 2013 election, then won it back in the recount, and now, well, who knows? Scott, looks like you're heading back for another round of campaigning. It is looking increasingly likely. Uh, they haven't fired the starting gun yet, but I think we're, we're very close now to heading back to the polls. Scott, have you kept the old bumper stickers from the last election? And uh, will you kiss the same babies in this election, even though they will be <laughs> three or four months older? I love recycling. I'm in the green. It's quite a cycle the whole election. Well, you requested the original recount. This is going to take, you know, time, people Saturdays. It's going to cost $13 million, you know, in taxpayer dollars. Are you worried that yeah. people may use that against you? I hope they don't use it against me. We didn't lose the votes. I think the AEC's taken responsibility for that. My job, if we are going back to the polls, is to make sure that people hear loud and clear. There's a really good chance here to send a strong message back to Tony Abbott and the rest of his team. Uh, well, the government have said that this will be a referendum on the carbon tax and the, the mining taxes. Is that how you see it? Uh, no, we'll see about that. We'll see in retrospect if that's true or not. I think this election is going to be about the things that they have got wrong particularly if it lands right before the federal budget, cuts to the ABC, cuts to Medicare, attacks on renewable energy against the backdrop of rising temperatures. Now, that's heat waves, it's fires on the edge of town. That's what is on people's minds now. The wonderful thing about being in a representative democracy is that West Australians will get to make their minds up. One thing I'm looking forward to, I guess, is that we're used to seeing federal politics seen through the lens of Western Sydney. What a unique opportunity to see things through the lens of Western Australia. Are you worried at all that Clive Palmer could just come in and buy the election? Well, he's actually very good at it. Uh, he, he appeared to have bought himself a couple of seats in the last election. But people might be getting a bit wise, actually. There's a lot of slogans, a lot of random behaviour, a lot of dinosaurs, not a lot of carefully thought through policy. But again, we leave that up to the voters. Sorry, Scott, I just want to confirm for our West Australian friends, uh, the sausages and bread will be fresh. Not used from not, the Not used from the, 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 the have been Definitely frozen. not recycled from <laughs> September. Excellent. <laughs> That's good to know. Uh, well, all the best for the upcoming election, Scott. We'll, we'll see what happens. All right, thanks, guys. Talk to you again.